This list was made by TDE Punch. That's the guy who runs Kendrick Lamar's label. And he wanted to continue in the trend of everyone making him out Rushmore for the 2010s and after to make his own list, except he did it for errors. And he was calling an error every four years. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I think about every four to five years is an error. So I don't think his categorizing of the time period is incorrect. I just think he was trying to put any and everybody on this shit that he wouldn't offend motherfuckers, which, again, not I'm not trying to say he's some industry dude just, like, scared to offend people because, I like, watching his moves, he doesn't seem really like that. But this is an industry move. You're trying to make it seem like you're shouting out everybody because some of these people that he's putting on the Mount Rushmore, so I'm not mad at the errors. I'm mad at some of the names. Some of these niggas didn't even belong in this shit. Now, I'm going to just say he starts at 86 to 90. Mostly, I was not even born until 95. So I'm going to just scroll all the way up, okay? Let me just scroll all the way up because y'all don't be like, yo, who the fuck is Kane, Rock, Kim? By the way, these are legends, okay? And I don't want to be sitting here arguing when some of y'all don't know it. And also, shit, some of this predates me being alive too. So I don't want to be in that type of argument. I'm going to start at about... And I ain't even going to do the 94 to 98 with Jay and Tupac and Nas. I'm going to start around 2000. So at 2000 or 98 to 2002, he says Eminem, which I agree. Eminem has to be on that Mount Rushmore. Um, DMX, Nelly, and Ja Rule. I think that's right. And I think it's right going to 2002 because we all know what happened in 2003. 50 Cent came along and fucked up the game. So 2002 to 2006, we get Kanye West, 50 Cent, Lil Wayne, and The Game. Um, this is why I say that, with all due respect, Punch was just putting everybody on this shit. Because I love Game. He's one of my favorite rappers ever. But The Game does not go on a Mount Rushmore for, uh, uh, for this era. I think T.I. doesn't go in 2006 to 2010. I think T.I. goes in 2002 to 2006, especially around like 2004 to 2006. That nigga really started heating up. Um, of course, he went to prison. Then he dropped like Paper Trail. And when was T.I. versus Tip? Yeah, I think that was 2006. So like really after 2006, so going to, into 2007, I could be wrong on my, my dates. No, T.I. versus Tip was probably 2008. But I know Paper Trail was 2007, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Paper Trail was 2007. Regardless, I don't think that's his strongest period. I wouldn't put him on the Mount Rushmore for then. If I had to put him on one of them, I would replace him with Game. 2006 to 2010, and I'm looking at this shit. You got T.I., Jeezy, Luda, Rick Ross. Um, I ain't even gonna lie. My memory don't even serve me that well to fucking um, argue this. But truth be told... I would put Wayne. Actually, I would drop Wayne down to 2006 to 2010. Like 2003, 2004, of course, we had like Fireman and Go DJ by Wayne with the Carter 2, right? I'm, try I'm trying to remember. He starts going on that mixtape run around like 2005, 2006, 2007, and then Carter 3 comes 2008. Yeah, I'm putting Wayne for two that for from the 06 to 010. And that's what I'm saying. It, it, the, the periods are so so short. Like whether he's at 2002 to 2006 or 2006 to 2010, you know what I mean? It's not that big of a deal because he's had a long reign. The only thing is, and this is another thing I was saying about participation trophies, which I think that's why this list was made. He fucking named everybody. It's a participation trophy because you could name Wayne in one era so you don't have to mention him in another. Like, if we're being honest, Wayne going to be in a 2002 to 2006 era and a 2006 to 2010. Just like Kanye is going to be in the 2002 to 2006 and also 2006 to 2010. Kanye got to be in both of those eras. 50 is in one. Kanye is in both. T.I. is in one. Rick Ross is in one. I'm Jeezy, I'm going to give it one. The game, I don't know if he makes it at all. And if we're going from 2002 to 2010, if we're talking about a Mount Rushmore. Now, it gets a little bit interesting because some of y'all probably don't listen to the game or or 
not wasn't that tuned into hip hop 2002 to 2010, but 2010 we get Drake. And Drake dropped like so far going about 2007, but his reign didn't really start. Thank Me Later was cool, but the, the crowning moment was definitely Thank Me Later, which no no not Thank Me Later, Take Care, which was 2011. He went on a crazy. Uh, um, fee- That's when the stimulus package, if you ask me, was born in 2010, right? He started doing some crazy features. He started putting out a bunch of loose. He's getting a lot of attention, right? So I think that's right. Drake is there. Kendrick is there. Kendrick comes along like 2011, 2012. Okay, makes sense, right? And I'm talking about his big album, Good Kid, Mad City. Nicki Minaj, um, she was killing the mix safe circuit. And J. Cole... J. Cole as well was building an extremely crazy audience at that po- point. I agree with the 10 to 14. I'm not mad at Nicki being there. Y'all agree? I agree. I think that's right. Now, this is where I think it gets fucked up. 14 to 18. Future Young Thug Chance and Travis automatically throw Chance in the bushes. Chance the Rapper has never dominated any fucking era. He had one really dope album that got him a lot of acclaim and he was independent and had a clean image and he was rolling around and he was seen to be in the circles of Kanye West and we all saw how good music influenced people. We thought he was up next and I get it. We uh, uh, Chance 1 and Chance 2 and Coloring, but I get all of that, but... When he was on acid, when he was on the acid rap shit, people wasn't heralding him, and I can't see Chance the Rapper being on any list. Like I can't see it. Why is Chance the Rapper on fourteen to eighteen? How? I'm gonna be very honest with y'all, chat. You can't. If Chance, I would rather instead of Chance the Rapper, put Fetty Wap. Fetty Wap. Fetty Wap takes Chance the Rapper's place. Is that facts or fiction? Tell me in the chat. Somebody said Migos. I'm going to say you're right with Migos, except I'm taking Migos over Travis. Fetty and Migos. Travis, of course, you know, World did his thing, but, like, think about his album before. He was still building up until, like, 2017, if you ask me. Up until 2017, the pick up the phone and all that type of shit, like, Travis was, he wasn't, like, I can't say he ran that era. I can't say Travis ran from 2014 on. He had big songs, but it's nowhere near the Travis we know now. If anything, and you know what, I'm going to leave Travis. I'm going to leave Travis. You know why? Because I don't know if I'm going to give, I'm not going to throw him on the 18+. plus. I'm not going to throw him on 2018 plus. So let's leave Travis. But we got to take off Chance. Chance got to go. And I'm going to say Migos and Fetty Wap. I know it only could be four, but the Migos got to be on it. The Migos went on a fucking, nah, yeah, the Migos got to be on it. Migos and Travis Scott got to be on it. Migos and Travis Scott got to be on it. And I hear y'all. Because y'all thinking about 2016 on when this is when the clout era, this is when a lot of mumble rapper or whatever start really popping up. 17, we had Yachty, Uzi, Kodak. Not a mumble rapper, but we had 21 Savage. I'm not putting them in this era. Future got to be there. (laughs) Young Thug got to be there. I'm giving Migos even over a lot of the rappers we're talking about. Because the Migos were full-blown superstars by 2017. Like, that was the era in which they blew up. They got to be on it. I think it's actually sacrilegious the Migos now on this. Migos got to be on it. And then I'm putting Fetty. I, I got to put Fetty, even though I feel like Fetty's run was two years. Fetty's run was really two years. So maybe we keep Travis in hindsight looking back because Travis was appreciating with time when... Fetty started out scorching hot. He had mad songs running the billboards, doing all type of shit for a good year and a half. But then after that, we didn't see much materialize after that. Okay. Actually, yeah, take Fetty out. We got to put the Migos. We got to put the Migos. Somebody said Bryson Tiller, bro, this ain't R&B, nigga. I see some people say Meek. 
Unfortunately, and I'm being objective. I know y'all gonna be like, yo, act, yo, yo. Meek doesn't make it. Meek don't make it. Um, if, if you're gonna ask me, 2012 to 2015, that's when Meek is going crazy with the Dream T Chasers mixtape. He got that piff going crazy. He's bubbling in the streets. But look at the four people that's at 2010 to 2014. Who do you replace with Meek Mill? Y'all tell me. I don't think we can replace any of them. I'm not. Repl you can't replace Drake. You cannot replace Kendrick. You can't replace J. Cole for that era. Remember, it was the it was the it was the it was the new school of hip hop. Shit, even when Kendrick mentioned people, like he was sure to shout them niggas out. You, you knew there was like a first class and a second class. And Meek and them was almost in that second class. The Meek, like, and by the way, in that 2012 to 2016 era or 2011 to 2015 era, which would fit in that 2010 to 2014. Remember, people who ain't gonna make it are ASAP Rocky. Right? ASAP had a crazy movement then. Not gonna make it. Big Sean. Even though he probably came a little bit later in the 2010 and 2014. Big Sean not gonna make it. Who else? Who, who else not gonna make it that, that was also around during that time? Wale not gonna make it. We could only pick four. Tyler's not making it then. Are you crazy? I see a couple people say Chief Keith. Nah. Chief Keith, as much as I like him, Chief Keith, he he doesn't make it. I can't knock Nikki. I can't knock Nikki off of um. Oh shit, yeah, my boy, no tourist race eating. I can't knock Nikki off of this list. I can't. Hold on, my mama text me. Give me one second. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. I can't knock Nikki off the list, bro. I can't. Yeah, Wiz. Wiz not making it. I love Wiz. Wiz not making Yo, there's a lot of talented artists that came through in 2010 to 2014 that won't make it. Drake, and, and by the way, this is the strongest era because all those people lasted for the next three eras and they're still pretty much on top. Kid Cudi, not going to make it. Matt Miller, not going to make it. God rest the dead. Somebody says Chris Brown. Chris Brown is not in this equation. We got to put him in an R&B one. We got to do one for R&B because I've thought about it, and I do believe at a point the weekend took over from, from Chris Brown. He took the baton. And yet, Chris Brown is always like top three or top two, but the weekend is the nigga right now. He's been a nigga. Okay, so let's go on to 14 and 18. Somebody says Juice. Well, Juice Juice would, would be 18 after. Um, also, X. I see people saying X. X kind of popped out 2018. X popped out 2018, so that would be 2018 to present. So remember the change we did. You can't take out Thug. You can't take out Future. Travis, I think you got to keep him on there. We're putting Amigos in from 14 to 18. 18 to present. This is where it gets interesting. Because Juice died and X died, I can't put them on it. Great artists. Probably would be bigger than some of the people. Oh, not, not even probably. They are bigger even in death than some of the people I'm going to name. But I can't put them on the list because... It was only like it was a short period of time. It wasn't for like the whole time from 2018 till 2021. Now, I think they got this list all wrong. They said 18 to present. Cardi B, Lil Baby, the baby, Roddy Rich. I'm I'm eliminating three of those.
off my list. Roddy Rich is not on my list. The baby is not on my list. Cardi B is not on my list from 18 to present. We're going little baby. We're going Uzi. We got to do Uzi. We're going little baby Uzi. Let me see. I hope Kodak young boy. Lil Baby, Uzi, Kodak, Young Boy. Dirk is not on it. Dirk has only gotten this lit in the last year, and it started, at least mainstream-wise, with the Drake feature. He took that. He dropped the song The Voice. He dropped a couple other songs. He's always been great. He's always been good. He's always been making great music. But he never had that. Fucking like niggas is looking at Dirk as like he's one of the niggas right now, bro. He never, nigga. Remember he was going back and forth with like niggas like six nine like a year ago. Now he realizes he's above that. He don't do it no more. Dirk is not on it. I think it's a possibility Dirk could be on the next one. Even though truth be told, Dirk came out ten years ago. Dirk came out ten years ago, but for him to have the impact on rap. In totality, and not just drill. I'm talking about running rap. The Mount Rushmore is is it's not only you have to be one of the people running rap. You got to be one of the most influential. The people who are impacting and changing how shit is. Somebody says Twenty One Savage should be in that list. Well, I'm gonna tell you the weakest link would be if you ask me. Between Baby, Uzi, you can't take off Baby and Uzi. You can't. Baby and Uzi are, cannot come off the list. Now, Young Boy and Kodak. I would say Kodak is the weakest link. Am I tripping? Or is it Young Boy? So if you're, uh, whoever you pick, pick, if you want 21 to be on the list, Nah, it, nah. Lil Baby's not the weakest link. Nigga, from 2017 to currently, Lil Baby has gotten better verse for verse, song for song, project for project. This nigga is undoubtedly the face of that list. Uzi is, it's important that Uzi's on that list because other than Young Thug, Uzi is the face and the only survivor, one of the only survivors of the clout era. He rolled in with them, the likes of Lil Pump, Smoke Perp, around the same time period, the SoundCloud niggas, and he's one of the only niggas who turned into a superstar who turned into a nigga who literally could change hip-hop when he puts out a project. Now, I'm going to say Young Boy kind of... Here's, here's my argument with Young Boy and, and, and Kodak. Young Boy has to be on this list, if we think about it, from the last... Two years. He's dropped the most project. He's been so consistent. He's he's pretty much escalated. His buzz is hype. He's done better. He's a, If we think about the last two years, got to be in it. Now, if we think about 2016 or, or no, 2017 and 2018, that was Kodak most dominant years, if you ask me. Or maybe it's 2017, 2018 or 2018, 2019. Maybe it's 2018, 2019. But in that four-year period, Kodak owned half of it, and YoungBoy owned the other half. I hear, I hear, I hear, I hear. Don snaps, Don snaps. Great point. 
Kodak is an inspiration for for young boy. Or at least that's how we take it, right? Hold on one second. Hold up. Unfortunately, Chief Keef is not on a Mount Rushmore. This isn't this is isn't about influence. They're like what well, I mean, solely influence. If this was influence in the last shit, we could do last 10 years. Chief Keef will be on it. Or last 15 years. Chief Keef will be on it. Because anybody who's ever done drill, shit, some of even oozy shit is gonna boil down to niggas like. Chief Keef. Chief Keef almost damn near created mumble rap. But this isn't only about influence. This is about if we're thinking about a time period, who are the most successful, most impactful, the people who defined hip hop and ran it and were the best at that time. And Chief Keef would have been in it but the people who are knocking them out is Drake, Kendrick, Nicki, and Cole. I can't, you can't replace none of them with, with Chief Keef. And, and, and this is what I was getting at about TD Punch List. The harsh reality is on these lists, it's not a participation trophy. It's like, put it like this. If you ask me, Allen Iverson is one of the best players in the fucking world ever. But he played in the era of Kobe and Shaq. Never got a championship. He got close. Never got a championship. Not because he might be greater than a nigga playing now who might have a championship. You're going to be like, well, let's just... No, he doesn't have a championship. He, for his era, he was denied by people greater. I'm sorry. That's how it works. This ain't a participation trophy. If Chief Keefe came out now, among the people we talking about, of course, yes. But in 2010 to 2014, you can't put Chief Keefe over Drake. You can't put him over Kendrick. You can't put him over Nick. You can't put him over. It doesn't diminish how great he is. But there's times when people are greater. Soldier Boy not on this list either. What is Soulja? It was like 2008 Soldier Boy job. Soldier Boy, Penny, oh, why me, Craig, why me? Was it 2008 or 2007? Wami Cranky, Wami Ro. Wami Crank that Superman and Anyway, horrible list if you ask me. Horrible. Just because punch in merit based awards, you can't include everybody. Like, with all due respect, I love Cardi B, but why is Cardi B on this? With all due respect, why is the baby on this? Gunner's not on it either. Again, you can only pick four for each era. Okay, cool. Um, 